Nation. This next battle is three five-minute rounds in the Bantamweight co-main event of Brave 43 in Combat Kingdom. Introducing your first warrior, fighting out of the blue corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 11 wins and six losses. He stands 165 centimeters tall and weighs a ready 61.7 kilograms. Representing All Stars Training Center, Sweden, by way of Bulgaria. Give it up for Dimitar Kostov. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 11 wins and one loss. He stands 172 centimeters tall and weighs a ready 61.5 kilograms. Representing Ahmad Fight Club from Mahachkala, Republic of Dagestan, Russia. Give it up for Kasum Kasuma. Dimitar Kostov, a little bit older. But like I said, comparatively, looking at the two, you would not think Dimitar Kostov is a man that cuts down to bantamweight more than holding his own aesthetically. Again, that awkward, tricky southpaw position. It lends itself to a multitude of different entries on the opposite side than a fighter is used to defending from. Kasim Kasimov with the clinch. In on the double. I'd be surprised to see this takedown finished. I think it's going to be denied, and they're going to return to standing fairly soon. If he does manage to get his opponent down, it's going to be a huge moment in this fight. Initial takedown denied. Good use of the wizard there by Kostov, but what a fighter is down. down. Kasum, Kasumov. Showing his raw power right there just by taking Kostov down. And now it'll be interesting to see just what kind of a guard Kostov has. You can already see Kasimov perhaps trying to set up that Darsh choke. The guard is open. If he can skip off to the side, he already has that locked up in the upper portion. He just needs to step off. And that's exactly what he's trying to do. He's trying to step out the back. Can he slip that left leg out as well? Trying to work for the Darsh choke. Good work from Dimitar Kostov to defend. Excellent job by Kasum Kasimov to stay on top in this position. As I said earlier, it's hard to take somebody down in mixed martial arts. It's harder to keep them down. Now we've got the, 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 the most difficult part of all, which is keeping somebody down while staying out of danger Triangle and delivering attempt. punishment. Triangle attempt here by Kostov. He did. He does have the leg flush. He does have the arm pushed down, but Kasimov more than wise to it. Stays calm. But you can see already in the opening stanzas, both men showing submission skills and prowess. Back body lock, nasty little uppercut. Got one hook in, Phil. Oh, he has indeed. He may be switching. Little high. If Kasimov can keep turning in. Potential arm here for coming. a head-arm triangle. If he steps arm off. Arm choke coming. If those hips sink. Oh, this and looks. And the fighter. This looks very deep. Kostov trying to do the right thing by turning into his opponent, but that's a huge it's vice getting tighter, grip Phil. by Kasim It's getting Kasimov. tighter. Oh, he may just be delaying the inevitable by trying to answer the phone here for the defense, trying to use his elbow to create a little bit of space, but Kasim Kasimov has the pressure on it. Phil, that choke's getting even tighter still. There if may not be too much left. Oh, he's out! <laughs> Referee Reb and Sabre checked the arm of his opponent. Didn't get anything back, and another beautiful first round choke by Kasum Kasimov. More than happy with the win. Screams and adulation at us here in our broadcast position. But what a squeeze Kasum Kasimov has. Didn't need to circle around as is often seen with the head on triangle. Established the position, used a vice like grip to put it on. I choked his opponent unconscious. Dimitar Kostov faded to black. He's now sitting up without support. The blood's rushing back to his head. He'll be able to stand under his own control momentarily. There it's happening. Now we're watching the replay. And again, for the second time tonight, referee Reben Saber has made a fantastic call looking after the safety of the fighters. 
Twice tonight he has done that. Credit to the referee, fantastic timing, work. Timing is everything in mixed martial arts on the attack. It's everything in mixed martial arts in officiating. If you stop the fight too early, you take half the opponent's money. You stop too late, then there could be injuries. That was a perfect stoppage. And you can tell just by how Dimitar Kostov, how long it took him to get back to his feet. How he's now setting up, but he still looks a little bit uneasy. That tells you just what a good stoppage it was. Referees here at Brave Combat Federation are, for my money, the best in the world. And you're seeing the illustration of that tonight. For those of you in Brave Nation unfamiliar with the jiu-jitsu game, with a choking game, that was not dangerous. It looks dramatic. The fighter will be fine within minutes. And now to make things official, Reb and Sabre calls the boys into the middle of the cage. Carlos Kramer with the official decision. All right, Brave Nation, another exciting battle. This one coming to an end at two minutes and 31 seconds of the very first round. Your winner by head and arm triangle from Akbat Fight Club, Kasum, Kasum!